So now you want to make an LED flash on and off slowly, but you don't want to use any integrated circuits. Well, that's okay. Uh, the thing is, you do use these and you do use these so I'm guessing you're okay with using one of those too and maybe some other stuff just so long as we don't use any integrated circuits these well alright it's not that difficult what you need is just an oscillator um, what we're going to look at is a relaxation oscillator because they're supremely easy, supremely simple, uh, and that means cheap and quick to wire up and fun to play with. Okay, this is called a relaxation oscillator. Why is it called a relaxation oscillator? Because I guess it kind of relaxes. It it charges up a capacitor and puts out a voltage that's kind of like that. And then, boom, it goes away for the weekend or comes back to work or does something. Anyways, it does this. And I guess that has something to do with today. It's a really old circuit. It comes from the tube days when they used to use... Um, when they used to use uh, neon lights, but we're not going to use a neon light. And we're going to use what's called a unit junction transistor. A unit junction transistor looks like a FET schematically, sort of, uh, except the, the base of the gate or whatever you want to call it is drawn a little bit differently. And it has an odd property called negative resistance. Now, I don't know if that has anything to do with these weird videos I've been seeing uh, on YouTube lately about negative resistance and I don't know, they look like flying saucer things or alien technology or something. It's not alien technology. It's just a way of describing a, a weird property of this to where the, uh, the current input starts off at a fairly low value and it rises as the voltage rises or no actually it goes down as the voltage rises which is why it's called a negative resistance it kind of works backwards to what you would expect and what the ends up happening is that uh, this becomes an active element uh, providing some control in the circuit as opposed to a regular transistor or FET where you'd expect to be taking an output from here or an output from here in the relaxation oscillator we're actually getting the output from here. This point here is both a control and an output it, in and out at the same point. It's a very interesting circuit and and it's what makes this pretty easy to to, uh, to mess with, to fudge around. You can just play with this resistor and this capacitor and do things, change things. Now, what we're getting from here is this waveform, which as you can see, that means that uh, if we put a diode across here, it's going to turn off very quickly. It's not going to have that slow decay that you wanted. What we need to do is we need to filter this so it looks like that which is a very easy thing to do with a resistor and a capacitor. That's all it is. So this here becomes a little bit more complex circuit and they do interact with one another which means you gotta muck around with it somewhere to get it right. But it's pretty simple. It's pretty simple and it's straightforward but it's not at all straightforward. Uh, this resistor here and this capacitor are not going, you don't want to pick these to set the time constant, you want to pick these 
to filter in whatever frequency is set by this resistor and this capacitor and this resistor and this capacitor. This is uh, kind of a two-pole circuit. This is almost like a, a recording equalization circuit off of an old phonograph record, um, which means it's, it's going to have a, a knee in its response. Um, anyways, it's, it, 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 it's a minor complication and it's certainly one that you can work with once you get this part of the circuit working then you can just choose like uh, I don't know a, a 10k here and a 0.1 here and stick those there and see how long that thing stays on and change this to a 10 and see how long that stays on etc 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 it's fairly simple okay and I'm running out of paper so this is to be continued on the next sheet.